Hey, welcome to Space Pilots uh, to Atmospheric uh, Flight Training with Bradford here. Um, yeah, and, and today I'm going to tell you all about how to fly inside of an atmosphere. That's right, you heard Bradford. Now, uh, to do this, uh, we'll be using a thing called uh, Frontier Pilot Simulator, uh, which is an early access game uh, you can get on your computer machine. Now, they, they give uh, Bradford the game so he could do a video on it, uh, which was uh, probably a horrible mistake. Uh, okay, let's go. Wow, this is uh, one hell of a... Uh, or what do you call it, a user interface? <laughs> but oh, oh boy, those uh, hills are pretty pretty. But it's, it's too bad I can't see them with all that ugly ass text in the way. Man, you, you know, I, I, I just love to fly around in the atmosphere sometimes. It, 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 it's like taking a bath after the dry hollows of uh, space flight. Oh, this is nice. Uh, how, how far does this antenna even go up for? Oh, oh crap, oh crap, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Hey, I'm looking at a skip pod. Wait, you mean I'm not to hollow me? Okay, so, you know, Bradford was told this is early access, uh, I told the middle, uh, middle of, uh, year 3305, I, I mean 2019, uh, and they're gonna be adding, uh, storyline and quests and all that nonsense later. Uh, so, you know, it's only like 45% of the way, so relax and don't get your panties in a bunch, it's only half a game, don't worry about it. Okay, uh, that, that said, uh, a lot of the things are really janky and, uh, and, well, bad. Uh, like, for instance, when you want to repair your ship, it will literally make you sit there as it repairs it piece by piece. Ah, uh, Bradford's not even kidding. Just uh, look at this. Now, uh, you know, I know all, all the space planners out there in the lead, right, uh, get sick of all the blackness and uh, feel this gentle touch of the breeze on your hulls. And uh, you don't want to wait for Frontier to tease us. So if you want, maybe you can get this Frontier and uh, while you wait for that Frontier. Maybe you can even uh, watch Frontier while playing Frontier and reading the, the Frontier forums. Anyway, uh, you start off uh, in this open world where uh, all you can do is crash and die over and over again in utter confusion. Uh, just like childbirth, but uh, twice as messy. Uh, then you start to figure out uh, how to buy and sell goods between the, the various places on the island. Uh, like, you bring this item here, then this item over there. Uh, or you go fetch some random item from the map and, uh, you know, sell it over there. Yeah, but, uh, you know, clearly, if you like to be able to sit in a chair and uh, still move things around, uh, it, then uh, that is like the core thing of this game, is you're, you're moving stuff around. Uh, you gotta be careful, though, because uh, sometimes the cargo that you're carrying is uh, really, really heavy. And uh, you won't be able to lift it, bros. Ah, uh, that's right, uh, how did you know? I'm transporting your mom. Oh! Yeah, so the, the landscape looks pretty rocky here. Uh, and there are some erupting volcanoes and uh, geysers everywhere. Uh, it'll blow you away. So you just gotta go around them when they're ejaculating. Uh, no big deal. Now, Bradford isn't able to go very far, but, uh, you know, it looks like the other, uh, there are other bigger islands are far away. Uh, so the developers are gonna be adding uh, more locations. And there'll be some interesting times here if you wanna go uh, exploring. It's uh, too bad Bradford can't afford a bigger ship to get over there, because uh, it keeps uh, crashing and dying. Why don't you tell Bradford to get good in the comments below? Uh, yeah, then the weather effects with the wind are pretty neat, which uh, you can turn on and off, and on and off, and on and off, and oh, oh my god, no, no! Well, the, the idea of uh, wind effects are pretty cool, and uh, Bradford misses the time long ago when he would turn into a jet and uh, feel the cool breeze on his face. If only this simulation would let me turn into a jet! Well, who knows? They plan to add uh, things later like ship traffic, co cockpits, <laughs> faction based economies, uh, even multiplayer. Uh, right now, everything's uh, very bare bones, Bradford. But, uh, you know, maybe in time with new features coming out, this could be a fun thing to do when you want to practice your flying, but also not be in space all the time. So, you know, uh, you know check it out, pilots, and uh, Bradford will see you in the sky uh, crashing into the ground in a fiery wreck. Now, fly Dangus.